We got Boon Cha, my favorite meal. Oh, that's good. I'm gonna add a little garlic. Just a little garlic. <laughs> Some chilies. And a little kumquat. Um, so somebody showed us this little trick to get the seeds out because we've been just squeezing it in there and we dumped the seeds. But if you just do it in your spoon. Like so, and just kind of tip it like that. Oh, then you only get like one seed in there. All right, let's try this. Grab some herbs. These are these are like basil, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then cilantro goes there. In my bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I love cilantro. Aww. Oh. No five second rules in Vietnam no, yet. No, no. We're not to that point with rule. our gut gut biome. <laughs> I have the thing where cilantro tastes like dirt to me, so I don't do cilantro. And uh, this one even came with a little, uh, little spring roll, too. Nice. That's good. Not a, lot of, not a lot of filling in that spring roll, but it's got a good crispiness to it. Um, all right. Boonja. Boonja. So Liz has taught me that you take your noodles and put it in your spoon because I've been wearing my boon cha quite a bit. It just kind of splashes all in front of me when I slurp it up. You get a piece of meat in there. A little veggie and garlic. It's good. So the meat the meat isn't seasoned separately. Kind of soaks up the flavor of the soup. And the moocha is like, got this sweet flavor with a little bit of savory in it. Um, and it's it's a good breakfast food, one of my favorite. Show them the, uh, the patty up close. So you get this little pork patty. And it just, it seems like this is part of a boomcha meal like it's not really boon chow unless you get the pork patty with it All yeah right. people have tried to serve us boon chow without that and it's just not the same yeah it's more like i don't know what it is but that's good this is seasoned this is almost a sausage seasoning actually so it's pretty good yeah okay but i want the experts to weigh in is liz eating boon chow right and charlie's eating it wrong yeah, That's, with the spoon thing. Or is it the other way around? Because I just, I usually just uh, like take it and eat it like this. Well, he throws all of his noodles in the bowl. Not all of them. Yeah, but you like throw noodles in the bowl and. Yeah, like I do. And make it kind of like a pho. No, I just kind of soak the noodles so they soak up the flavor. Yeah. It, I mean, it's a technique. It is for yeah. sure. Maybe but, there and is. I use, no wrong way to eat boon chow. Yeah, and I used to just eat it like this. But I just spray stuff everywhere. Yeah, I can already see droplets on oh, the shirt. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, I think Liz's way is better on that part. Okay. Oh, hey, there's some cilantro in my bowl. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so this is how I eat my boon chow. You know, I'll throw a couple things in my spoon, get some broth going, and then 
that's the hard part is getting a small amount of noodles. That can be impossible sometimes. Wait, so you don't even dip your noodles? Well, that time I did, but no, they go right into the spoon like that. I think Liz is eating them wrong. <laughs> I think you're eating them wrong. <laughs> Ooh, this is really good boom cha, by the way. It is very good boom cha. It's the fresh garlic. Like, yeah. that is the secret. You gotta have some fresh garlic. Yeah. It's so good. And then uh, there's tea right here with some glasses that we got. And it's it's kind of like a vanilla tea. Um, it's very good. It's hot. And the, the, meat, the meat is barbecued. Yeah. If it's done right. And you can definitely taste that that was barbecued. Yeah, yeah, you can see that it is barbecued. Oh, All right. No. <laughs> We're gonna devour this. Yes, we are. And there's another boon shop place right across the street here. Oops. Which we'll probably try. Um, I like me at some moonshine, mm -hmm. but not today. That's where we got the moonshine with 20k. Now we're getting coffee. Uh, we're getting two uh, salted coffee, which is the Cafe Moye, uh, 15k each. machine right here. Um, we ran it from the hotel for 150000 We had to give them a million uh, deposit. Um, but, you know, we're ballers, so we just throw millions around like nothing. Um, it's uh, a Honda Airblade, 110 cc's, uh, and when we got it, it had no brakes. Uh, the front brakes still kind of grind, but they've tightened the brakes up enough for that we can ride it for the day. And the seat's a little more comfortable. The shocks are a little more beefy than the Yamaha. But uh, we just rode it to the beach here. I'm excited to go check the beach out. Yeah, let's go to the beach. But what way is the beach? The beach. The beach is that way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at the Buddha statue way out there. Wow. That's cool. It's amazing. It's right there. We saw a sign for monkeys. 
Do you think we'll see some? I gotta look for the monkeys. So that's Da Nang from afar. We were just on the beach right there. I don't know if I'm pointing right on the camera. And the Buddha statue is right there above us. There was like a thousand stairs, but I'm gonna see if there's another way to it. All right, so we parked here up at the top of the hill that we barely made it up because our bike's an automatic. And the guy there said that uh, it's, uh, you just donate to pay to park. So we'll drop something in the bin on the way out. So this is uh, the, where the big giant Buddha is that we saw when we were over at the beach. I just kind of drove in this direction and it actually says um, on the sign, uh, automatic motorcycles are prohibited uh, nine kilometers from that sign, about seven kilometers from here. Uh, and we have a we have an automatic motorbike, and we barely made it up here. I, it was struggling. <laughs> it's like dark and has a very shiny bottom. So it's a broad-handed carpenter bee. Yes, we just entered this beautiful place and we're looking at the bugs. <laughs> wow. That thing is huge. <laughs> Holy smokes. So in true Adventure Closet style, we didn't look anything up before we came here. I didn't even look for directions. I just literally uh, pointed the bike in this direction and we made it there. Um, so I don't know much about this, but we'll learn as we go. I don't even, do you even know what this place is called? No. <laughs> so, yeah, we don't even know what this place is called, and we just ended up here. There's a lot of people here, though. Yeah, it's very popular. There's a bunch of tour buses and stuff, so. Budai. <laughs> this is the Buddha that everybody uh, calls Charlie here. Budai. Bonsai garden here. Never mind these giant statues that you know everybody comes for. Look at these trees. Holy smokes. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Look at that one over there. Okay, we're gonna spend a little bit looking at these trees before we go look at that statue. Because uh, the amount of time and care that have been put into these to make them what they are. Look at this. Beautiful. Alright, there's another glimpse of the statue. But now let's go to that, that interesting looking tree over here. Gosh, look at this one. Wow.
Okay, here's the one I saw from afar. That is impressive. Look at that. Wow. That is super cool, guys. The fact that it's all still alive and has so many holes in it. That is an awesome tree. statue now <laughs> still just in awe of all these trees like look at that that one's epic too and this one oh I love this one this is one of my favorites I love it when they integrate like the buildings and such in them So many. Oh, there's another cool one over here. This one's the coolest. just filming a figurine and a bonsai and uh, this guy came up next to me and started praying and it was really beautiful I don't know what he said uh, but um, it was really beautiful it was almost like he was singing while he was praying didn't I say we were gonna go look at the big Buddha statue we've made it a little closer <laughs> This butterfly almost hit me. Okay, I'm going inside the, uh, the Lady Buddha. I've removed my shoes.
just inside the door right here. It's a nice breeze. It's uh, 81 degrees out, 86% humidity today. Some people have asked us how warm it is in our videos. Um, that's why I'm wearing the sun hoodie. Protect my, my ears and my head from the sun. Uh, and my hands. My hands, even when I'm like driving in the, the van, um, in, in the US, my hands will, will like get this heat rash on them from the sun. I guess that's what you get for growing up in Washington State 40 years before you hit the road. <laughs> All right, that was pretty cool. Uh, seeing the inside of this. Now let's, uh, let's take a look at the front because you uh, can't really see it from here. Big. Okay, you guys can see the bottom of it behind me. I'm gonna see how far I need to walk away until you can see it. Okay. Just keep walking. Oh, it looks like there's another blue dye up here. Uh, maybe we can give you guys a vantage point here. And Charlie's distracted with a water buffalo bonsai. Check this out. That's cool. <laughs> So as you can see, it's kind of crowded here. Check out this bodai. Look what I just found. So there is monkeys here. Haven't seen any though. But we'll find them.
So I don't know where the monkeys came from, but uh, two of them just ran up, snatched this ice cream cone from this girl, and then all of a sudden there's four monkeys here. <laughs> and we're still at the, the statue. So I guess we don't need to go all the way to Monkey Mountain to see monkeys. Catch your monkeys, Jeff. <laughs> Like licking off of her foot. <laughs> this is kind of crazy. Charlie and I actually met 17 years ago, over 17 years ago, like 18, 19, almost 19 years ago. Um, taking care of monkeys like these. Um, we worked at a biomedical facility uh, that did research on animals, which does not sound like something we would be doing, but uh, we were young and needed money, and that's... Uh, that's where we met. <laughs> it's kind of a funny story. But and we also understand the dangers of monkeys. Do not get too close to them. They carry lots of different diseases and they are very aggressive. They're not cute and cuddly. But cuddly, but you don't want the monkeys. Those monkeys were awesome, but check this out. It's another one of these bonsais on a male water buffalo. You may be asking, how do I know it's male? Um, I just have a hunch that it might be a male water buffalo. Just maybe. Maybe.
All right, we're gonna walk over here and see what's this way as I bump into Liz. <laughs> oh, I was gonna look up uh, how tall this uh, statue was. It's 87 meters, which is uh, this many feet. Check out this marble um, table and chairs. That is beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Man. Beautiful. You know it's an adventure closet video when we show you the table and chairs <laughs> at this place. <laughs> I mean, everybody else has got their drones out and doing drone footage and we're here showing you the real stuff. The <laughs> table and the chairs. I mean, it's cool. It is, it's very cool. <laughs> Even if you're in the rocks or not, I mean, maybe you're into tables. Yeah, uh, well, we're not also cool. showing you the trees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which, I don't know, I, I, I like these trees. Kakain. If, if I had, you know, 80 some years, of my life to just devote to trees like this, I'd probably still do what we're doing now. <laughs> <laughs> but you'd sure appreciate the other people that do. I already do appreciate the people that do. Hey, there's just more table and chairs over here. Let's check those out. <laughs> and look at this. Is this, this almost looks like pet wood sticking out of this rock. Is that pet wood? That might be pet wood. Petrified wood. What do you guys think? Oh, yeah. It looks like petrified wood. I think you're right. Yeah. Oh, look at this table. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. <laughs> we gotta check out this other table and chairs. That's cool. That is cool. What's up, dog? You're a little scraggly looking. Hey, I'm standing here. Look at this tree. Now you got tree here, tree there, tree there, and tree there. It's the same tree. Like everywhere. This is all the same tree. This is beautiful. how old this tree is it's giant and somebody decided to deface it with a heart
All right, guys, we found another table. This is cool. Oh, what is this? Gosh, this place is just gorgeous. Oh, look at this over right here. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Thanks for coming along with us on this impromptu adventure. All our adventures are impromptu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, what do you expect? You yeah. don't expect anything from us, but adventure. That's right. Uh, well, we'll see you next time. And uh, we don't know what that's going to be either, so your guess is as good as ours. But we still have the bike. It's true. <laughs> Bye now. So something else oh. is happening. <laughs> That's true. Bye now. Bye now. <laughs>